Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak says there is no political agenda over the arrest of two Perak State Executive Councillors. The Anti-Corruption Agency arrested Changkat Jering Assemblyman Mohamad Osman Mohamad Jailu and Berhang Assemblyman Jamaluddin Mohamad Razi for alleged graft involving housing projects in Sri Iskandar worth 180 million ringgit. The Deputy Prime Minister said the investigation was being conducted in terms of facts which could not be fabricated. Ini berarti bahawa mereka mesti pertahankan diri mereka dalam proses mahkamah uh, dan mereka tak bolehlah dakwa bahawa uh, dari segi pandangan masyarakat tempoh masa lima bulan saja mereka tubuh kerajaan sudah ada pendakwaan seperti ini. He said the state executive councillors will have to defend themselves in court. He was speaking to reporters Thursday after launching the Women's Summit 2008 at Saim Dhabi Convention Centre. The one-day conference is an annual event organised by the Women, Family and Community Development Ministry in conjunction with Women's Day. On another note, Datuk Sri Najib says the time has come for the Employment Act 1955 to be reviewed to attract more women to join the country's workforce. He says he will support any move to encourage more women to join the employment sector and make Malaysia more competitive. Najib said the review could include making provisions for a more flexible working schedule. Ya, kalau ada saya menyokong prinsip untuk membolehkan kita meningkatkan penyertaan wanita dalam workforce negara sebab peratusannya 46% pada masa sekarang ni masih rendah lagi jika dibandingkan dengan negara-negara maju yang berada di tahap 70% ke atas. Search and rescue workers on Thursday morning found the two pilots who went missing shortly after their aircraft took off from the Sultan Mahmud Airport in Terengganu yesterday. One pilot was found alive while the other had succumbed to serious injuries. The pilots aged 21 and 20 were flying a Diamond Star DA-40 aircraft on a training flight from Kuala Tunganu to Langkawi International Airport. Deputy Finance Minister Datuk Kong Cho Ha says the government will continue paying cash rebates to private vehicle owners until March 31st next year, even if the fuel price is revised downward. There is a possibility that the fuel pump price will go down when the fuel price is restructured from September 1st. However, the government will keep its promise of paying the cash rebates according to the rate previously announced. The payment was to help people cushion the fuel price hikes. It is impossible that PKR de facto leader Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim could have seen the second, second medical report on his former aide, Mohamad Saiful Bukhari Azlan, who claimed he was sodomized by the PKR advisor. Health Minister Datuk Liao Tong Lai said the report was sent straight to the police from Hospital Kuala Lumpur HKL. He says it is also not true the report had been leaked out, discounting the possibility of an inside job. Speaking to reporters at a press conference after visiting the Sabrang Jai Hospital, he also said the Chinese community in Permatang Pao was becoming increasingly supportive of Barisan National in the by-election. For more updates, log on to staronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.